Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks and joining us from Burley, Idaho. He weighed in at 158 and three quarter pounds with a record of nine wins, five losses and three draws. He has four wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Cassius Clay Collar. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with red and blue trim, hailing from Havana, Cuba. He weighed in at 157 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his young campaign to the ring with a perfect record of four wins, no losses. All four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Southpaw, Joe Elvis La Hoya. And our third man to the ring, now to give instructions, Earl Brown. All right, fighters. I expect a clean professional fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Come on, let's go. Touch gloves if you want. All right. This, uh could be interesting. It could be short. Uelvis Gomez has real power. Uh, again, an amateur star out of Cuba. He's got four wins as a pro, all four by knockout. He can really whack, but Clay Collard is a very tough guy. MMA, he's a good MMA fighter. He's 29 overall in the UFC and the PFL. Uh, but nobody does both, Joe. Boxing and MMA at the same time, they're, they're, they're very different things. It's very difficult to be successful at both. And he's got a great chin, but I gotta tell you this, Yo, Yo Elvis uh, Gomez, I've got tape of him sparring that was sent to me months ago out of Mexico. He knocks guys out in the gym with big gloves on. He's a real puncher. He already has a highlight reel of knockouts as a pro, and he's only fought four times. This is his United States debut. Big night for him on Christmas Day in New Jersey. See, and that's the problem with uh, with Collard right there. He has that chin up and that right hook. If that lands more than a couple of times, he could be in big trouble early. Tell you what, Collard said that his mother had told him that, uh, you know, you don't start fighting until you get hit. But he's going to be hit here and hit early. Well, he already got hit with a good right hook. And I was going to say Collard as well, you know, he needs to uh, throw some punches. What he's doing, he's jumping straight back instead of circling. When you jump straight back, the only thing back there is the ropes. Gomez yeah. is just so fast. Look at that with the jab, jumping right. in with that. And again, he is lethal. He keeps that, that left hand cocked. Oh, right ready there. to fire. That's it. Collard now reeling backwards, just got clipped. Back in the corner and trying to survive. He gets hit again. And a sharp left hand by Gomez. Collard in all sorts of trouble. Oh, he needs to bring up his hands. That's what he needs to do. Higher back his own right hand. He's going to land one there. Uppercuts oh, from Gomez. Man. Withering shot, so much power. Right hand, left hand, now Collard goes down. Drilled by Gomez to the canvas. You can't take that right hook from, from Gomez. As great a chin as Collard's got. The, the, he doesn't want to get hit with that again because he'll right? go lights out. Right. Collard's corner better look at him pretty closely and get that. Oh, one right hand jumping in. Gomez hurts Collard. Somehow he's on his feet. Can he survive? A lot of time left. Left hand off the side of the head. Now you can't take your man down. <laughs> There's still a minute left in this round, too, Brian. Uh, which could be. Oh, there it is, a right hook. That landed flush. Collard is hurt, badly hurt, this staying on his feet. All toughness keeping him on his feet. God, big left hand. They got by Gomez. Yes, they got to stop. And it stopped That's right it. now. Great Earl job, Brown. Earl Brown. He he saw the discrepancy yeah. in speed and skill. Oh. And Yoelvis Gomez with a spectacular but quick performance. That's about as vicious as a punching exhibition as you're ever gonna see. Ever. And accurate. I mean, ever. just frighteningly accurate. No, Collard had no answer for. That. Listen, we've seen Collard. We saw his tapes. Yeah. This guy is a tough dude. I mean, he really can take a punch. Look, 
most mortal guys would have gone out on that first hook, no doubt. The second one for sure. But he got hit with like eight, nine, ten of those. And Joe, many people probably thinking, oh, come on, he's beating this guy from Idaho. Who is he really facing? Clay Collard has upset wins over good prospects already. He beat Raymond Guijardo on FS1 in February of 2020. And Guijardo was 5-0. and oh. So that was, it was a thought that Collard would be tough and maybe be able to stay with him. But Gomez just, you know, just answered that question. And it's not close enough enough for Collard to stay with a world-class Cuban star. Brutal round, brutal round. Wow. Yuelvis Gomez making a successful United States debut here on Christmas Day. We'll take another look at this brutal fight when we come back. With us here ringside, Brian Kenny, Joe Goose, and Ray Flores as well. And there's Yuelvis Gomez. By the way, he is the son of of Jose Gomez, 1980 Olympic gold medalist. Talk about the lineage. Also a world champion, 1978. Pan Am Games champion, 1979. Back in those days, Joe, they couldn't turn pro, so they didn't become bigger stars, but Jose Gomez, a, a world-class, world superstar boxer. Yeah, yeah, 100% correct. But let's go back and look at this round, what there was of it. And here's that first leadoff hook. Boom, right there. I mean, right off the bat, that's got that's that's got Collins going sideways uh Collins going sideways and here comes the flurry left hand misses the misses those two punches but he starts to land again Gomez and there's a jab right left uppercut then he whips in the bolo right into the solar plexus and here comes that hook there it is there's one two yeah there, so there was two hooks and a left hand that put Collar down who oh. usually doesn't go down and, and here why is this giant oh. right hook coming oh. right from Yikes. Gomez, great right hook. It was a leaping right hook, and he comes back again with it. Boom, right on the chin. You see how he turns those knuckles over, too. That's where oh, yeah. it generates that power. All right, here's here's the last part of this. He got that polo punch again, and the ref, you know, is looking very closely, and a couple punches missing here by Gomez, but he's going to land right there. Boom, that's the one that really sent Collard reeling, another left hand, another hook off the temple, and and that's when Earl Brown jumped in and did the right thing. He had seen enough, yeah. no matter how tough Collard was, uh, and didn't go down from that, you know, to tell you the truth, but to absorb that punishment, right? Gomez attacks and throws with leverage, uh, building his highlight reel of knockouts. He's 5-0, and all five wins by knockout. You're going to be hearing a lot from him. He's already got one rank, one uh, world ranking, top 10 world ranking in the sanctioning body. So he is on his way with only five professional fights. You saw the class here just too far ahead of Clay Collard. Gomez gets his win in his first fight in the United States. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, we have the time of 2 minutes 11 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Earl Brown, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Yoelvis La Hoya Gomez. Well, I mentioned it. It might be interesting. It might be quick. It, it was both. Because yeah. that's a, Lennox, you, you, you're, you have knockout power. You have many great knockouts. That was a spectacular knockout, regardless of opposition. In the fighters meeting, I said to Clay Collar, yeah, did you see your opponent? Have you seen your opponent? He said, well, I only watched half a round. Yeah. Man, he should have watched the whole <laughs> round. I don't know who would help. No, he, he may <laughs> not have shown up. Right. I was kidding. Yeah, but, you know. He needed, he needed to kick. He I'm needed to be able to kick and, and, and wrestle and, and MMA because he's a, he's a good MMA fighter, but that, that's world class right there in professional boxing. And Yuelvis Gomez just way too much. More boxing on the way. A good rematch coming up. Vito Milicki Jr. in the main event. Keep, keep it right here.